What's up? What's up, everybody? Today, we're here on the China server account to play with Faleria, the Light Dryad, a unit that we got so, not even so long ago, a few months ago, needed some Devilmons to skill up, needed, needed to pull some other Dryads to skill up, finally got her skilled up. However, we don't really do too much stuff on this China server account because usually when we hit Guild Wars, they're farming guilds. I'm like, I can't use this for any content at all. However, we have a, it's not a, like a Guardian G1, G2, G3 guild, but it's at least a usable guild that we can actually see some gameplay against and it's not like a complete pushover guild of like four star unawakened monsters. So today we're gonna take Faleria. Yeah, I, you guys can't even see what that says. We're gonna take Faleria in to some Guild Wars. We're gonna see what she's all about. We're also, actually, we could take her in some other places, not just Guild Wars, can't we? Let's take a look at Faleria. Let's take a look at what she does. She's completely maxed. She's ruined up with Violent Rune. She's got artifacts. Uh, she's on speed HP HP. That's generally the build for her. Um, she's not fully grinded. She's grinded eh, mostly. She's got artifacts. They are completely upgraded. I wanted to make sure that I actually... I try to do this as much as possible. Sometimes I don't have the resources for everything, but I try to make sure that they're upgraded. Uh, when I show you guys stuff. Okay, so Flower Growing attacks enemy, absorbs the attack bar by 15% with a 50% chance. Goes up to 70... I was going to say 75. Math, 70% chance um, after it's completely done. Uh, not terrible, not amazing. Uh, honeybee Friends. Honeybee Friends will transfer all harmful effects. This is kind of potentially very cool when this actually works. Uh, transfer all harmful effects granted on the allies to the target enemy. If the allies don't have any harmful effects, all allies will recover their HP by 20%, which actually you really don't even need that transfer, uh, that, that, sorry, you do need the transfer. You don't really need, for her specifically, you don't need to use this as a heal because she does that for her passive, right? She's gonna be healing all the time anyway, um, or doing a shield. Uh, all time anyway, so you really don't quite need some for some of them you like the water one You can use this as a heal because the water one doesn't have like a passive heal with skill 3 But for this one deeper in tree passive recovers the HP of the allies granted with harmful effects by 15% every turn Creates a shield that's equivalent to 15% of, uh, of your HP on the allies with no harmful effects for two turns So every time she moves She creates either a shield or she heals just passively. She's kind of similar in utility to uh, Tetra, to Molly, to who else? To Rakuni. She 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 kind of works similarly to those units, which kind of gets your attention a little more. They're like, hold on, because uh, every time she gets a turn, something happens whether she CC'd or not, whether she actually has skills to use or not. She's just doing this passively every time she gets a turn. So uh, I like to have her fast, tanky, good resistance, and uh, at, well, good accuracy and resistance are nice for this because this is a cleanse basically. This is a full team cleanse. Um, so you want to make sure that you're not CC'd to be able to use this one at least. Uh, and then accuracy will help you to actually throw it back on the enemies. So, uh, let's take a look at her in some battles and let's see what she does. So here's the game plan. For the first team, they are going to bomb us, they're going to provoke us, they're going to slow us, they're going to silence us, they're going to do all these debuffs. We're coming in with the Faleria over here to, uh, passively... Uh, give us shields and or heals based on the current situation of debuffs and potentially throw them back We'll see if she resists enough. She does have endure, but we'll see if she resists enough to actually do that We have Charlotte because surprise it's Charlotte week. You guys thought we were gonna do a Charlotte video today We did a Charlotte video um, And then we also have this is going to be our water tank I was gonna bring in the Josephine, but she's not skilled up I think he's actually missing some skills too, but he should still be fine for this, but we brought in a water tank for the to handle the Ciara bomb. Do we? I, I was gonna say, do we have different water tanks? We have. We can do arena, right? Um, but this is this is fine. Figure is fine. Um, and then we have also. Let me before we get into that. People think Invigor is a storage unit now because he's got a different cooldown on his skill three. He's still a great unit. He's still a great unit. He's more balanced now. He's you know got put in his place. Maybe not put in his place, but he's. He's more balanced now, but he's still a good unit. It's not like a don't build Vigor because he has this one more cooldown on his skill three. He's still a, he's still a great unit. Um, so just FYI. Uh, second team, we're just going to outspeed and cleave. Because that's the fun part, right? Because why not? I also found out today that there are very little... Uh, very little upgrades to this. <gasps> I mean, I guess we'll do this. Sure, why not? Oh my... Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll do this then. I thought they were gonna outspeed us with that speed lead. Well, I. D <sighs> How? 
How are we faster? How are we faster? Well, I guess it's not. <laughs> She's despair. She's despair. Okay. So there we go. So uh, doing our doing our little thing. I get, okay, let's let's. It's a Charlotte video, isn't it? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Charlotte has waited for Charlotte week. It's okay to have a Charlotte video, isn't it? Let's do one of these. Let's get additional. You okay? I'm trying to not win so much, guys. For once in my life, I'm trying to not win so much. All right, let's see if we can uh, throw this bomb back on. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, I mean, we could do this. I really don't want to do that, though. I really don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, so we got a refresh on our shield. Decrease attack. We, we didn't see anything. Okay, the next, the next one we're gonna, the next match we're gonna see more of what she can do. Uh, we see some shields, and then we could use this to just uh, he heal, but it doesn't really make any sense. But we, we we use that for the heal, so why not? I that was the terrible spotlight. That was the terrible spotlight. I really thought that they were gonna be faster. I really thought they were gonna at least be faster. And this just deletes everything, because of course it does. I'm going through all these different defenses, trying to find the best spot for her. Honestly, the best spot for her is against heavy control teams that don't really have, like, aggressive damage dealers coming out of them. Not saying that this is a great defense. This just happens to be, like, Nephthys has a lot of debuffs, which I want on the team. But then it's followed by two DPS units that are going to kill something before I can throw the debuffs back, right? So we're, go we're going in with Hathor. The reason that we're going in with Hathor is to try to CC these other units on the team, on the enemy team before they get a chance to kill things, right? So we want the debuffs from ne Nephthys. I don't quite want the silence from Nephthys, but uh, we'll see how that plays out. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, for the second team, not that these are amazing defenses, but for the second team, we're just going to use this. I don't know if you guys forgot about this. This is a team that you can use. It's a fun team, so we're going to use it. I don't think that they're artifacted, though. I don't think that they're grinded and artifact. I think the last time on this account, because this is a China server account, I think the last... They have runes, right? They have runes all maxed. But I think the last time... Can we do this? Nice. They changed the speed tuning. Very nice. Okay, so let us... Let's do this. Nope, didn't work. Okay, let's <laughs> let's do uh, let's do this. We're gonna moonlight dance. We're gonna decrease the attack age and ignore some defense. Not quite all the defense, but let's go. Okay, so we do one of these. We got the kill. Okay, so now we have a lot of Arrgh! right. Of course, it's gonna hit her. She's a light unit. Of course, it's gonna hit her. Okay, let's do this. Of course she's going to keep silencing her of all things. <laughs> no, she is 100%. I just want you guys to know. This Hathor is 100% accuracy. Not joking. She is 100% accuracy. Uh, this, if this speed breaks. There we go. Then we can at least do this. We can give a dot and it's an attack power break to Theomars. Fantastic. Uh, and then we just, it's kind of pointless because we're just doing another attack power break on him. Regardless, uh, so that was that was fantastic. Uh, we can. <laughs> this is not a great spotlight for her. Okay, uh, let's do. It doesn't matter. Let's do this. Why not? Let's do. Is this going to be a spotlight of her now? Is this going to be a spotlight of this uh, water Chun Li? <laughs> kind kind of. This is kind of just a spotlight of the water Chun Li. Lulz. That's the water uh, It's the same unit as the water Shinley, by the way. So this didn't do what I wanted it to do. Fantastic. And now Hathor is going to have to come in and do her uh, skill 2 to actually kill this guy. Because they're just going to keep decreasing his attack bar. <sighs> so this is not... This is not what I wanted, guys. This is not what I... Never mind. Not what I wanted. Terrible spotlight. Okay, let's continue. This team should be fun. Watch Oki's skill twos on the... Uh, well, actually, that's fine. That's fine. He's, he's, uh, Oki would never hit the... 
<laughs> Oki would never do smart things also. Okay, so Kali's gonna hit the Okeanos. So we'll just do the headshot against this guy. <clears throat> right. Well, on the bright side, I'm just showing you guys that Chloe has three turn immunity now. So, uh, super great team. You should definitely build this. Do we not have 100% crit rate on that? What is the deal here? What is the deal? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. On the bright side, this can also strip beneficial effects. Let me show you. Boom. And he also does extra damage. Base this is not a spotlight of the units that we're trying to spotlight. So, uh, pretty typical. Uh, well, Chloe's doing fine. Oh, she has a crit lead. So, we do have high crit rate for uh, fire units. That's why we're critting with fire units. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to do something about this sniper. We're gonna have to do something about this sniper, okay? For real now, for real. This... Have to re ruin him? Uh, ASAP. By the way, that goes through the shield. That first hit, first skill. Match three, I'm very scared of this one though, guys, because I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I have not used these teams ever in my life. So here's here's the game plan for round three. Uh, first team, this is actually, after the buff, it's a good counter to Gianna because she'll strip and stun, uh, whereas he will cleanse those stuns off and increase the attack age of the team. So, potentially, if he's a good enough counter to Gianna, if these are despair oracles, he might be a good counter to those as well. So we're going to try that against that, and then we're going to... Uh, Keep decreasing attack ages and nuke those. Perna's there for some sustain, because I feel like we're going to need some sustain. Perna's going to be strong against the Wind Monkey. Perna's going to be strong against the Juno. And then this guy's going to be strong against the Praha and the Juno. So, uh, And then Lauren's just going to keep decreasing attack age. We're going to go for the Monkey first for our uh, to kill, right? So that's the game plan for the first team. I don't know if it's going to work. I've never tried this team before in my life. Well, that's that we we do that quite often here, don't we? Never tried anything before. Well, no, 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 no. Some teams we tried before. I'm not gonna go through the the math for how many teams we've tried before. Second one, um, she is on Swift. I don't know if she's gonna outspeed. If she outspeeds, beautiful. If she doesn't outspeed, not beautiful. So, we'll see. We will see. Uh, although I think we could still cut in at some point. So, uh, yeah, let's try it out. Uh, so, by the way, if you guys don't remember what she does, the uh, string, the Water String Master, if she can outspeed Wusa, she will stop the entire team from buffing immunity, which is going to be huge. Uh, so, we'll find out. And with Water Chimera there, doo -doo, uh, to do do to do some... Uh, maybe, I hope he doesn't do do. He's going to do some CCs. He's going to do some big DPS. Let's do do this on him. Let's do this on him. Let's do this. She only strips the one thing. <gasps> nice. Can we stun? I was really hoping for the stun. We'll do... I'm sorry. We'll do do one of these. We'll do do that. We'll do do this. Very nice. We'll do do this. Why do I keep... I, I really want to say do do now. Uh, Flame Nova just for the extra damage. We'll do do this. We'll do do. Uh, so this is remove beneficial effects and increase chance of landing guns again. I mean, he really, he, he really was supposed to be there for the passive, but that didn't quite work. Uh, he did decent damage though. Yeah, it only it only works if you strip and sleep, right? If we stripped and sleeped, or if they stripped and sleeped, then it would uh, it would have worked better. So I guess we'll take care of Juno next. There's nothing really to strip. So, I mean, his damage is okay, but ah, there we go. Okay, so the first one went fine. This still, this still works. This still works. This actually still works. They have immunity. I don't know why I was what I was thinking. They have, uh, they have immunity though. They, <clears throat> they have immunity though, so we are actually perfectly fine because we outsped. So. Eat a fat, you know, never mind. <laughs> never, never mind, never mind. Okay. We got some provokes, but yeah, let's do uh, one of these. This is actually beautiful. Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's do this. Let's get stunned. 
Let's get provoked. Ah, oh, we got, man, she's taking all the, she got, she's got endure runes. She's taking all the debuffs. Takes all the debuffs. Okay. You know what? Perfect. Perfect. Here you go. Horny bee friends. Nope. On to. <clears throat> Fantastic. All right. So let's do squall on. What do we want to do squall on? You? You? This guy. Mm, this guy. Do you? I feel like we're also not getting the best RNG. So he got his immunity up, which sucks, but it's fine. I mean, it's not it's not fine, but it's fine, maybe. Alright, I'm gonna get this paladin next. Maybe we could have played this better. Uh well they have immunity, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's just do squall. There we go. And now. It doesn't matter. We have to... So he's got one one turn of downtime. Wait, wait, wait. See, this cleanses, but it's not going to transfer it. It's not going to transfer it. But at least it cleanses, so that's good. Not the worst spotlight. We cleanse the... Cleanse things. Um, wait, do we do this now? Yeah, we do this now. We do this now. We do this now. Denied. That's so fun. That's so fulfilling. That's so fulfilling. So fulfilling. Yes. Let's go. We don't need to do that skill three just yet. He basically, she basically, as long as she can outspeed, but but you gotta outspeed the Wusa to make that happen, though. That's the thing. But if you do outspeed the Wusa, then there you go. So nice. So very nice. So this was supposed to be a spotlight of Faleria. We kind of a spotlight of Faleria, but we kind of also spotlighted some other stuff too, like the Water Stream Master. Before we call it a day, I told you I wanted to test her out in somewhere aside from just Guild Wars. So, uh, we are testing her out in R5. We have fairly standard teams for the first... Fairly standard teams for the first two teams. However, this team over here... Oh, good lord! <laughs> what is this? Um... So let me explain. Let me explain the strategy behind this team. I feel like Vanna White here or something. Argon does damage based on enemy debuffs. This girl, Naomi, does damage based on enemy debuffs. This guy, actually, I feel like he's going to be pretty nice for R5. I haven't even tried him out in here just yet. He does have a leader skill, attack power leader skill, so he does have at least something. He's got attack break first skill, which is pretty important for raids. He's going to be countering. He's going to be revenging a decent amount. So uh, that may actually be pretty good for here. Uh, and he's kind of like a bruisery kind of thing, right? So we'll see. Uh, we have Fran. I don't really want to use Fran, but we have Fran. Uh, we have this girl right here, uh, Lauren. She does. She's basically the same spot as Hua. Decreased stack age, speed break. But she also has two other debuffs. She has a, a, a defense break. She's got a heal block. She's got a speed buff, a speed break, whatever. Uh, and then we have uh, this girl who's going to be providing sustain and maybe even transfer some harmful effects. So let's see. Uh... Let's see how it does. I'm scared, guys. I'm very scared. Could be good. Could be terrible. We'll find out. It'll probably, you know what? It'll probably be uh, completely uneventful. She'll be CC'd, and the other two teams will carry because it's CC'd, and we won't actually get to see too much of anything. But then we could just see it again. So, by the way, cleanse is better than um, death blow. Yeah. No, cleanse isn't better. Than cleanse is better than immunity in here. So I know people like, uh, you know, Fran and Wusa and things like that. Uh, but it's actually better to have... Fire and Uppercut. Yeah, and he goes right into Mach Punch. Okay. Uh, but it's better to have... Cleanse. Because he will suck up your buffs. So, better have Cleanse on there. So let's see, are they... Nah, she's just Honeybee Frenzing! I mean, it's still healed, but... She didn't really, uh... She didn't really cleanse the... the, the, the whatever's from the team that was maybe a bad example because look at this now she's not she, she doesn't have anything going on um can she actually could just be a bad um bad example run right honeybee oh no no, no! honeybee friends honeybee friends honeybee friends yes not a bad example beautiful example she cleansed all of the, uh, the debuffs the db db debuffs that's amazing that's fantastic okay so what is that three turn cooldown 
So that's not bad. Can we take a look at uh, actually this team? Yeah, okay. So we can take a little bit of a look at that, uh, that team to see who's doing the damage there. Not bad, not bad. All right. Iron Uppercut. Does a little brand. I got a decent amount of debuffs on that team. Not too shabby. Does she have her second skill? Is she going to do it? No, she's not going to do it again. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it worked. The point is that the team worked. Um, wacky team. Not a team you see every day for R5, but it worked, and it's a minute 44 seconds. Not our best time, but it's still a team that worked. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Valeria Spotlight. Interesting. She's got some potential. Um, that's only the tip of the iceberg, though, because she's actually much better than that. But we got to see at least a little bit of what she can do. That Honeybee Friends is, uh, if you get that in the right situation, that's potentially pretty deadly. But I mean, those situations that we were in, we wouldn't have necessarily wanted to specifically take Tetra. This, like, she, she basically, she did kind of similar to, she's kind of similar to Tetra, Molly, uh, Rakuni in where she's used and how she's used. It's kind of like a cleanse unit that has a passive that does something when she gets a turn, right? So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll play around with her some more in the future, though. But uh, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys. Use guys. I'll see you guys. Use guys as always in the next one.